We have not forgotten how China's unjust trade policies impacted our solar business. Many new enterprises were driven out by heavily subsidized Chinese competition. Pioneering businesses have to file for bankruptcy. Promising talents sought money overseas. This is why justice in the global economy is critical since it affects people's lives and incomes. Britain has just made a stunning move that is turning the EV game upside down. Today, we'll look at how the UK is rolling out the welcome map for Chinese electric vehicles. What does that signify as the EU tightens the screws with such high tariffs? We'll talk about what this means for you as drivers and how it could shake up the entire automotive sector in the UK. With the UK due for a massive EV makeover, I'll explain how this could affect your ride alternatives and increase competitiveness. But before we get into the details, click the like button and subscribe to The Global Story. We're all about bringing you the most recent and greatest information, so don't miss out. Okay, let us get right into it. The electric car sector is bubbling with enthusiasm, particularly as the UK prepares to welcome a slew of Chinese EVs. With the European Union imposing substantial tariffs on Chinese automakers, the UK is emerging as a hotspot for these vehicles. So what does this mean for the roads and rides? Imagine waking up to discover that your beloved sneakers are now 30% more expensive due to new tariffs. This is what is happening to Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers in Europe. The European Union has imposed tariffs on Chinese battery electric cars, or BEVs, ranging from 19% to 46.3%. Ouch, right? This approach is all about combating the massive government support that Chinese manufacturers receive, which the EU claims gives them an unfair advantage. So what does this mean for the cars we see driving around? Well, it is a complete game changer. With these tariffs approaching, many Chinese brands are moving their focus to the UK market, where conditions appear to be far more favorable. According to Owen Edwards, Grant Thornton's head of downstream automotive, Europe has historically been an appealing market for Chinese brands because of its size and reduced import duties. However, with the EU tightening the shackles, the UK appears to be a perfect opportunity. The influence here is massive. Chinese manufacturers want to keep expanding, especially after selling over 30 million new vehicles last year. With the EU erecting barriers, the UK might become a haven for these businesses, allowing them to continue expanding without the burden of tariffs. This transition might result in a rush of Chinese EVs on UK roads, altering the competitiveness and offering us more options than ever. While the EU is busy building walls, the UK government takes a different approach. Rather than imposing duties on Chinese EVs, the UK is considering methods to encourage their importation. Why? Because the UK is on a quest to go green and make electric vehicles affordable to all. Sounds good, right? A senior executive at a UK automaker revealed that the British government is considering alternatives to anti-subsidy policies. This demonstrates that they are willing to welcome Chinese EVs rather than reject them, which is a nice shift. The UK automotive sector, which exports almost 80% of its manufacturing, is in a bit of a predicament. The Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders recorded a 7.6% reduction in car manufacturing in the first half of 2024 compared to the previous year. With numbers like that, it's evident that the industry requires a boost. As the UK prepares to receive more Chinese EVs, it risks becoming a hotspot for these vehicles. Brands like BYD and Sherry are already seeing the UK as a major market, particularly if they can establish local manufacturing facilities. This deliberate strategy could provide Chinese firms with a significant advantage and provide UK consumers with more options at lower rates. Chinese automakers are not sitting around doing anything. They're taking clever measures to gain a foothold in the UK market. Take BYD as an example. They're not simply wishing for good fortune. They are genuinely establishing battery plants in Hungary and automobile factories in Turkey. Meanwhile, Sherry is looking into locations in Spain to build her shop. These steps demonstrate their commitment to manufacturing automobiles locally, which will help them compete more effectively in Europe. 
According to a recent Judge Service study, UK consumers are becoming more open to the idea of Chinese companies. The study discovered that 41% of car purchasers looking at high-end vehicles would consider a Chinese brand if it cost £3,000 less. That's a major thing. When it came to commonplace brands, 27% of customers agreed that the price was reasonable. This means that if Chinese brands play their cards right, they may capture a sizable portion of the market. However, not everything is going smoothly. Success will be determined by several factors, including how well people respond to these brands and their ability to establish dealer networks. Philip Northard, the Insight Director at Cox Automotive, stated that variables such as brand approval will be critical in deciding their success. The way these businesses manage the UK market will have a significant impact on their future success. While the influx of Chinese EVs is fantastic, it also presents some issues for the UK automotive industry. There is growing concern that we will become overly reliant on Chinese imports, particularly as global tensions escalate. The British government is aware that a trade war with China may have serious economic consequences. The Labour government, led by Keir Starmer, is in a bit of trouble. They're all in on banning the sale of new combustion engine vehicles by 2030, but there's pressure to increase EV imports to satisfy environmental targets. Jonathan Reynolds, who is in charge of business and trade, is developing a strategy to get multinational automakers to invest in UK manufacturing. However, achieving all of these aims is difficult. The UK government is doing its research to determine what Chinese investment implies for the auto industry. Officials are cautious about how local manufacturers will react if tariffs are imposed. Sam Lowe, a partner at Flint Global who is well-versed in trade and EVs, believes the government is beginning to understand the trade-offs involved in opposing Chinese imports. The risks are considerable, especially as China recently hit back against EU duties on its EVs, even considering EU dairy and pork goods in reprisal. Looking ahead, the UK EV sector is poised for significant expansion, particularly if the government maintains favorable conditions for Chinese imports. People are becoming increasingly interested in electric vehicles, and with Chinese firms making efforts, the industry might become a thriving hub of innovation and competitiveness. According to recent statistics, the UK is on course for a significant increase in EV sales over the next few years. Exciting times ahead. The way the UK government handles this will be critical to the future of the automotive industry. By monitoring import trends and potential precautions, regulators can strike a balance between fostering new ideas and protecting local firms. The changing dynamics in the UK market may pave the way for a completely new era of car rivalry. As the UK prepares to welcome a wave of Chinese electric vehicles, the impact on the automotive industry is tremendous. With more competition and the potential for market expansion, the UK is at a critical juncture that might alter its place in the global EV landscape. The next few years will be critical in determining how well the UK responds to these developments while also addressing economic and political issues. What are your thoughts on the UK spreading out the red carpet for Chinese EVs? Are you excited for more options on the road or are you concerned? Share your opinions in the comments. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more and see you at the next one.